Hello YouTube and welcome. This video should explain what this channel is all about. And I'd like to start with on how I became a beekeeper. Now, you might be wondering, why am I seeing a video game? Well, uh, this game eventually led me to beekeeping. It started around 2010, shortly after the game called Minecraft came out. Somebody made a modification for it called Forestry, in which you can raise bees to collect different game resources. Now, when I like a game, or pretty much anything really, I make a lot of research, including on YouTube. And that led the algorithm to make me suggestions about actual beekeeping. At the time, I was not really interested, so I mostly ignored them. But Minecraft is a game I keep coming back to time after time. Now, back in 2018, I decided to return to Minecraft yet again. Of course, playing with forestry. YouTube made yet another beekeeping video suggestion, and I actually decided to watch it. It was by a YouTuber named Vino Farm, and uh, he's pretty much the reason why I decided to start beekeeping. I enjoy this content a lot, and watch his whole library over the course of about a week. Once I decided to actually start beekeeping, I took some steps to make it a reality. I contacted the manager of the local community garden at the end of our streets, but that led nowhere because bees are not allowed in our city. Um, that kind of discouraged me for a bit and I somewhat gave up, but a friend of mine who knew a farmer actually uh, gave me his phone number and I contacted him. I kept on doing my research and I came across several beekeepers from whom I got a lot of knowledge. The aforementioned Vino Farm, who's a hobby beekeeper that started back in 2016. There's also a Canadian beekeeper's blog. He's a commercial beekeeper with roughly 1200 hives and a lot of good advice. Next one I would suggest is Cayman Reynolds, Tennessee's Bees. He's a beekeeper who's on the verge of becoming self-sufficient. Another one I would suggest is Richard Knoll. He's a beekeeper located in France, Europe. They all have their perspectives and devices, and I suggest you watch all of them to combine what they know into something that applies to you and your region. Another pair of YouTube channels I would suggest are 628 Dirt Rooster Bees and Jeff Horchoff Bees. They specialize in swarm removal from buildings, trees, etc. And they provide yet another point of view. Last but not least, I would recommend videos featuring Michael Palmer. He is a master beekeeper that has a lot to teach. I eventually found a beekeeping supply store and reserved six nukes, as well as some beekeeping equipment. And on May 24th, 2020, I will build my bee yard. When we got to the site of the bee yard, the landlord said he wanted to bring his shovel to help us. And it was quite a pleasant surprise. And not the shovel I had in mind. That's the story so far. I hope you enjoyed it. And don't forget to subscribe.